Hey, hope you're doing well. My name is Jay and I've been learning about Web3 for three months um, and it's been a very cool journey. Only three months I learned a lot. Um, it can be very confusing for a lot of people, but I wanted to give you some information very quick. That way you can actually understand a little bit because I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials. So um, yeah, Web3 is the blockchain so you need to understand first what is the blockchain and how it works if you understand that you're good you're in good path because before you learn web3 development you need to understand what is blockchain so i'm going to put a link in the description because it's not that easy to explain but i'm going to be doing other videos about it so as developers we can build things that connect to the blockchain and a lot of companies, they want blockchain developers because there's not a lot out there, so it's good. Um, so I'm gonna give you an example that I'm building right now. I'm using React.js, um, just like you use it, just normal. And then I included a library that is called Web3.js, and there are a couple more, it doesn't have to be that one. So that one is for Ethereum specifically. So um, the Ethereum blockchain. There are multiple blockchains out there. It's not only one, there are multiple. So Ethereum is one that a lot of people are using, a lot of developers are using, is the more, it's very secured and people like it a lot. Um, so when you build a, an app that is for the blockchain, it's called a DAP because it's a decentralized app. Decentralized means that it's not owned by someone. Um, they don't get your information, like you don't sign up and you give all your information and then they advertise everything to you because they know exactly who you are, where you live. They know everything about, so it's not gonna be like that. It's 100% privacy. No one knows who you are. When you connect to an app, it's just, you click a button and it will connect to something called a wallet address. So it's called a wallet address because it's just an address and the address is just numbers is uh, numbers and letters numbers and letters there is nothing specific that uh, links to you specifically so when you connect your app the people click on the button and it connects to your app using that wallet address and how it's done most people is they have like a chrome extension or a browser extension um, they just open that they connect to your app and then depending on that person on that address, then your app is like, okay, what do you have? And then it gets a lot of data from the blockchain. For example, a lot of people are making NFTs collections. So I can connect my wallet address to an app and it can give me here, here um, your NFTs and uh, I don't know, amount of NFTs, uh, what they are worth right now, maybe a comparison between other collections. I mean, it can get very complicated or it can be very simple. Um, but the thing is like, there is no, you didn't create a database. Something that we're going to talk about is smart contracts. So if you know JavaScript, you can learn this very quickly, I think, because it's not that complicated. So you can think like the smart, the smart contract is like the back end. And that's what you're going to use to get all that data from that person that is connecting to your app. So that's a very quick explanation. Um, I just wanted to let you know because I'm gonna be making a lot of tutorials about it. I'm gonna create like a, a, a DAP using React.js and Web3.js and maybe another one. There's like one or three. Um, we're gonna be working with, with uh, smart contracts. So we're gonna create a very basic smart contract to get you started. And everything I learned in these three, mo three months, I'm gonna teach you, all right? So this is a quick video, just letting you know and, and, and kind of sharing a very basic knowledge of the blockchain. But I'm gonna put a couple links in the description of the video. But if you like this, or if you don't like this, let me know in the comments below. We can start that conversation like, hey, I don't like this. I think this is a scam. A lot of people think it's a scam because they don't understand it, honestly. Um, I've been researching, using it, testing it, building 
uh, collections, uh, even NFTs collection, everything. Um, that way I understand what it is, how it works and if it's legit. So with that, just if you want to learn more, let me know in the comments below. If you don't like it, I want to know why not. Um, but if you want to learn more, subscribe. See ya. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.